Okay, so this video will show you my experience of trying to learn how to do the bow drill, uh, lots of failed attempts, and then eventually getting an ember. Here I actually have the um, drill on the wrong side of the bowstring, it should be on the outside. This time I have the spindle on the outside of the bowstring, which is great, but I'm not supporting the hearth properly, and you can see my foot just moving all over the place. This clip's a really good example of bad technique. For starters, my drill is too long anyway, which I change later, but also my wrist isn't locked against my shin in any way, it's moving around all over the place, and I'm bowing at an angle, which means that that string's just travelling up and off the top of the drill. Another example here of the spindle just moving around all over the place um, and I'm not using the full length of the bow either. I actually started the day um, kneeling on the ground uh, but found that really difficult and thought that working off the bench might help me to get my weight over the top of the drill. However, it, it really didn't and in fact later on uh, in this video you'll see that I revert back to being on the ground level. It was much more stable. I'm using a piece of um, antler here with a small indent in it uh, and actually it was really starting to hurt my wrist at this point. I just couldn't keep the pressure on. I think we can all see what the problem is here. The drill is nowhere near vertical and it is just desperate to ping out of that socket, which it does. Okay, so this is day two's attempt. I have a slightly different bow this time, a really straight bow. I forget which wood it was. Um, my technique's a little bit better, I'm um, back on the ground, but um, really struggling with too much friction at the top of my drill. As you can see, the drill has rounded off at the top. Even though I was using limpet shells by this point, um, I'd still ground the top of my drill down, and I needed that point again to allow smoother movement at the top and more friction at the bottom. I get pretty close to a number here but um, my stamina is just not there and I don't keep going long enough to build up the hot ash that's needed. Actually it's still smoking. Is it? Yeah. Did you switch it? Is it still smoking? No, it stopped. Apparently, I wasn't doing it right at the beginning because it's brown. I used a different bow this time, one that we made in the woods, and it's just too curved for me. I found it really hard to keep the bow flat, um, perhaps because it had a bigger curve in it, uh, and that just kind of confused my movement. I think you do better with straighter bows, don't you? I asked Adam to demonstrate that it was possible to get an ember with that ridiculously bendy bow, um, and frustratingly he did it really quickly. Hmm. So, it was me. And not the tools. Fire in them sticks. Yeah. Just not in you yet. No, not yet. From this clip, you would not think I get an ember in like five minutes time, because look at that ridiculous technique with the bow all over the place. So this is actually my successful attempt at getting the ember, and Adam caught it on camera, which was cool. It's good. I needed that like encouragement behind the camera, actually. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to keep going. You can see that um, from my body language that I'm getting tired. Oh, keep that going. Keep it going. You've nearly got it. You've nearly got it. Keep it going. Go on. You've so nearly got this. Faster. Faster. Just go as fast as you can. Let's have a look. Yeah, well done, you got one. Have a got it. 
Yeah. Have I? Yeah, move out the way carefully. <laughs> yeah, no problem there. That's good. Really? Yeah, let go. <laughs> so exciting. She's going to do it. I've got an ember. Look at that, it's still smoking. <sighs> that is so exciting. <gasps> oh, I can't believe I've got an ember. I told you it was going to happen tonight. You didn't believe me. <laughs> Thanks for watching me get my first ember and I hope this video is useful for you in getting yours.